Hi everyone, this is Bobby from bn-games.com and we're here doing another classic capture. Today we're playing Power Stone for the Sega Dreamcast. Power Stone! One of the best... Uh, I don't... well, maybe should I say best? Yeah, yeah, I would say so. It's definitely one of the best fighting games on uh, the Sega Dreamcast. A uh, fighting game is a... Do we really... It's Marvel vs. Capcom. <laughs> No, I wouldn't. Even, I would say it's more like it's more Super Smash Brothers than anything. Yeah, yeah. I, I, this I is this that. is the Sega Dreamcast <clears throat> power, uh, Super Smash Brothers. Party beat em up. There's party, no yes, party well beat known beat characters. That's true. That's and true. none of the characters that are in this made it to any of the <clears throat> other Capcom games that I can think of. Uh, a lot of them are archetypes of other characters from other series, uh, yeah. specifically anime. Um, yeah, I mean it's. We'll point them out as time goes on. Um, this game right here is actually a fairly valuable collector's item. Um, the first one is not as uh, expensive as the second one because there was a sequel. Uh, just called Power Stone 2. Uh, but the first one still goes for at least $20, $30 depending on its condition. And is um, highly sought out by Dreamcast collectors. Um, it's... Um, it... it it holds up. It holds up. Yeah. It's definitely fun f when you're playing with other people. Playing against the CPU is not so fun. Um, and In all reality, any fighting game is going to be like that, that's, I think. That's, that's, yeah, that's definitely true. We're playing versus. I don't know. I'm when first it player. Marco second. When it comes to Bobby, I prefer the piece. I, I, I prefer the CPU. <laughs> well, uh, against Bobby, it's like super fucking unfair. It's like, <laughs> hey. let me just fight this thing that has been doing this for like 30 years. <laughs> hey. That's and, like, fair. I suck at these kinds of games anyway, so I'm going to get my ass <laughs> handed to me. I'm a samurai. And, 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 I'm, and I am Goku. Yeah, well, you're, you know what, you would, you know what you're more like? Because that haircut, you're more like future Gohan. Um, I'm getting really oh, yeah, I'm getting Gohan. Re yeah, we're getting, no, 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 future Gohan with, well, with, oh, uh, God future damn future it. trunks. Oh, God damn it, Fucking no, 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 oh, no, you no, mean no, go ten? No, 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 no. He's talking about. I'm, go talking, about, I'm talking about the one uh, where he g dies against androids. Yeah, because the hair is very similar. From the from the alternate timeline. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Oh. Fucking Videl. <laughs> <laughs> just, just a fucking Videl. <laughs> just feel like saying that. Yes. Um. So the point of the game <laughs> is uh, to throw things at each other. <laughs> the point of the game is to pick shit up and toss it at yes. each other. Ah, take this flower pot. And you're picking uh, up. Uh, see, see the main the main point of this game is teaching kids how to steal jewels. <laughs> <laughs> yes. um, see, kids stealing jewels gives you superpowers. They, uh, you, you go around picking up chaos emeralds and then you use chaos, <laughs> chaos control. I, I swear, Sonic should have been a special character in this and, game. And then you, you know, you fuck people up like big time. But he's got tails with him. And right, fuck, right there, he's like uh, Super Sentai right there. Yeah. Yeah, I was okay with that. <laughs> I was okay with that on every single level. He looked like a Heracross. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like a silver a, hair across, he, and I was he, fine with. And was I, I would Goku. Was he a shiny hair? Yes, across. he was. And uh, Marco's it, trying to use his key. He's trying to use a spirit bomb. Hi, he's trying to depending play. on what, <laughs> what translation. In, what, yeah. <laughs> um, Sad thing is, you know, it, it's, it's it's a fast. I mean, you're not going to be getting any super com. I mean, you get these combos, and then the person gets knocked away. And then there's a lot of running, um, it, it, like I said, very much in the vein of um, Super Smash Brothers. Uh, Super Smash Brothers having come out before this. Um, part two, which we do not have yet, um, is actually a is much probably, more Super Smash Brothers. Yeah, because and, you have four players, and, and the levels are actually. You know, this, I think that's a problem with this game, personally. Yeah. The the they're too square, and and I mean. I know some of them are a little bit different and they break it up, but the layout is basically just a giant square. Yeah, it, it, it was a, you know what it is, it's a good template for what they wanted to do, and two was the execution, um, you know, this game not being terrible on any level, but if, if you had the choice, if you were going to spend your money, I would say get two, um, although it does not have all the same levels, which is kind of disappointing. Um, I should also mention these actually are both on um, the PlayStation Portable PSP uh, in a emulated version, which is actually rather terrible on the PSP. Um, it was not a very good port, although we haven't tried it on the Vita yet. That's kind of dating this video. The Vita's only been out a little while, so we might I might pick that up to see if that works well on the Vita, uh, emulation-wise. But, um, you know, for the PSP game. But, uh... He's Razor Leaf. <laughs> that basically is <laughs> it was super effective. Steel Razor. <coughs> no, Steel Wind. You're right. Steel Wind. God damn it. 
Yeah. 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 Cross. <clears throat> One little thing I'd like to mention about this, because it was kind of uh, ahead of its... Well, not ahead of its time, because, well, j- at least in Japan. <laughs> well, no, no. wants to say hi. <laughs> uh, no, it's uh, this game also had small mini-games that uh, you could unlock right. for the VMU well, memory a lot card. Of games, a lot of games had that. That's right. Yeah, but this one specifically had, like, one for each character. Because uh, I, I remember Falcon here had, like, it was a flying game. You're right. That's right. <laughs> VMUs, I would, I would not. Uh, no, I can never get it to back. work. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I do want to make one little mention because even, even Bobby didn't know this, which is a little surprising. Um, well, no, he knew it. He just never played it, which really surprised me. Which one? Um, that the fact that this was in arcade. <laughs> yeah, that I did oh. not. I, I thought well, it was you didn't know, or you never played it. That's never. Was, he never I played it never, at the arcade. Never played it at the arcade. I, it, and, and you know what? It might. I might have known at one point, but I only remember it being a Dreamcast game. Uh, in fact, the second one yeah, well, had an arcade the, game as the, well. The second one, um, and, and you guys will know where I'm referring to. You know that um, in, in Montebello, that old golf course that they recently closed down. Yeah. yeah. They had the machine in there in the back, and it was a nickel machine. Oh wow! It was a nickel machine, and it was it was the low Japanese style cabinets, uh, so you had to sit down. It was a nickel cabinet with that with the four with the four stick. I used to love going to play Marco. Why didn't you know that I was gonna want it and like keep it for? Unfortunately, they closed it down, and I don't know what happened to it. I wouldn't it's be surprised probably, if the owner still has it. Actually, uh, it's pr- no, because so, some of those places lease the machines. Yeah. So well, they, they, they're it's, just it's eBay time. All I know is that machine was always, always empty, and that's the first place I would go. Just a little side note, you know, this was an arcade game. Yeah, yeah no, let's say hey, that's relevant. Yeah. Um, when when we're talking about the Dreamcast version, though, like I said, part two is the better one to get. Um, just smashes Marco like the bug he is. Yep. <laughs> Uh, just, j- just get the part two. Oh, I mean, part one's good. I, if you're a collector, then you need to have it, obviously. And it holds up well. I mean, it's it's quick. You know, high frame rate. Um, quick load time. Quick loads. It, it controls well. <coughs> colorful. Um, very, colorful. very colorful. Uh, something we've mentioned multiple times on this I, series. I kind of like the steampunk esque of it too. It looks really cool. Yeah, that that's one of the things I like about it. Um. I, I've always liked that art style. That's why I like yeah, Bioshock I, so I like much. Steampunk stuff. Well, I like steampunk, and then I also like like cyberpunk, kind of like Tron, kinda like Tron, Tron Matrix. Tron-esque. Yeah, that's pretty stuff cool. like that. Yeah, no, Th- those are like two of my favorite art styles. So basically, this is uh, the Thing versus the Pink <coughs> Ranger. Yes, and I'm okay with it. Uh, this really is like cool. this was like what I thought Marco was actually gonna win. He's chan- uh, channeling uh, the Pink Ranger. Uh, almost. Um. Actually, I, did, I never really liked using this guy when I used to play it. That's kind of I was like, oh, uh, you mean gold? Sh- uh, yeah. uh, oddly enough, John used to like using this yes, guy. Yes, that is true, actually. I forgot about that. Uh, I don't know, it was a fantastic Samurai was my favorite. I just, this, or Heracross, as he forever shall be known. Yes. Um, so, I, I think you already said that the premise of the game is it, it's a fighter, a 3D uh, fighter, and you have these stones that are powerful, that contain superpowers, and you collect all three, and uh, you turn into a Super Saiyan. The, yeah, basically. The, 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 the primary premise is to collect three so you get the transformation, and most of the time you're going around, you know, trying to get It's the a other, back and forth. Yeah, it's a, most of the time you're trying to get the other person to not lose, to lose the other... Um, stones. stones, and then, you know, so you can transform and then, you know, do that. Uh, something similar that I guess you can compare to, at least for nowadays, be like Smash Brothers and the, uh, the, the parts the Smash- and the... Oh, the, the three lasers? Yeah. Yeah, although this is probably a lot easier to get than that. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. Sure I, I think right. it's you're not right. even. You're right. No, he's right. Well, even the even the no. You know what? You know what it would be comparative to besides that. Actually, just think of it as the Smash Ball. Yep. The, well, Smash Ball would be closer because Smash Ball is harder, but I mean, it's the same. Although, premise. rather than the Smash Ball, which is usually a tiebreaker, this is something you're using left and right. Yeah. Well, yeah. and it, it's, this it's that, balanced. The focus of it is actually the focus for it. Yeah. Smash Ball is just an additional fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't, don't really know what else to say. I, I I will say that the last guy, the last boss, who you can't control, um, he's a big pain in the ass. He's overpowered as fuck. Yeah, well, most Dreamcast bosses were. I'm I'm just saying he he kind of had a particular place in history and in my mind, especially for being really cheap. Um, and, and this is not one of those games. It, 
I don't want... It's 50% luck, 50% skill. I mean, once you know the controls and, you know, the nuances... It was the, it was the Marvel vs. Capcom of its time. You could, yeah, Considering I, that came out of it. Yes. I, 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 would, <laughs> I would agree with that, because if you were good enough, if you had the skill, even if you didn't get the crystals, you could keep the other player busy enough yep. so they would run out of time. Yep. Um... I was going to say something, but I forgot. Um, this is the last battle. I'm yeah. That How much does this go for? About 20 bucks. 20 to 30, depending case, uh, condition. Case, it's, it's definitely one of the rarer ones, all right? I, I want to say I picked this up for 25. Yeah, we got it In fact, I had my original, for some reason, had a, uh, not, not a crack. It doesn't work <laughs> past the load screen, the original that I had owned. I know what I was going to ask. Uh, the, I know the third one has more than three gems, right? No, the, no, the uh, second no, yeah, one. No. I mean, the second yeah, one. The second is. one actually has something like seven. Seven, right? But you only needed three. You no, only no, need no. three. Yeah, right. there's, but there's, there, there's a lot more on the stage. That, well, that's also they also do that because you have you have four players. Four players, exactly. I believe it there's was six. five or six crystals. There's like a purple crystal. It would make sense because we've had we had times when we were both. Yeah, yeah. yeah yes, well, that's, that's true. Uh, part two, oh, like like we've said, part two is just a is. This is a good template of what two needed to be. This is more of a fighter, where I think two was more of a party brawler. Yes, and, and, and it uh, also would that would that be? Yeah, and, and what two had that this one doesn't is two was um, the the levels were uh, were perilous. It, you, you, if and they were more they were uh, actually levels rather than just just being a square with different basically elements. yeah like you know well, the airship that collapses and then fires missiles at you and well, the, vehicles. Uh, the, <clears throat> uh, yeah. There were also improvements on the on the, this game's levels uh, like the bar that you guys fought in last. There's a part where the barrels will start falling there's on you. There's a second level. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's also like the running ones where you're running in like uh, you're running away from the the ball, like Indiana Jones style. There were also a lot more weapons, like the power pole. And That's right. Yeah. Two as a game is better, is what we're yes. trying to say. Uh, and, and I don't want to discredit this game at no, all. No, it's still a great game, but two improved it. Yeah, it, like I said, if you had a choice, if you could, get two. Uh, although, if you're a collector, then you obviously you'll need wobble. it. Yeah, you'll obviously need this one. And this one has uh, characters and bits that the second one didn't that were cut out so it's not like two has everybody and all the levels and everything else from the first one uh you know no it, but it did add a couple characters didn't it? yeah oh yeah it added, it added characters and you know obviously levels and, and everything else um but they felt pretty much the same uh, i i want to say almost identical uh maybe a little faster in the second one <clears throat> although this plays pretty fast actually I don't know. It, it it's a good game all, all around. There's, there's there's nothing there's nothing about this where I can say, hey, this is this is terrible. Or, there's nothing I can say that be like, you know, this this. It holds up. It works and it looks pretty. Yep. Like most Dreamcast games. Yes. It holds its value like most Dreamcast fighters. That's true. Well, yeah. yeah. Capcom, the the Dreamcast being probably the best platform for fighters uh, ever. Um, and PS2 actually had a lot of the ports, but there were good and bad ports, and all the, Dreamcast was just better. I mean, that's just what it was. Dreamcast, yeah, I've said it multiple times. This is my favorite console. There's just something about the Dreamcast that none of the other ones had. Well, the PlayStation One would be my second, close second, but Sega, Sega had something and has something that none of the other. Uh, console manufacturers at the time had there was just a, there was a I call it a Sega quirkiness. Well, what, what I kind of figured it as is this, especially when it comes to the fighters, is just you know they were designed as arcade games, and the Dreamcast is basically the home arcade. Yep. I mean, you got Hydro of Thunder, House of the Dead, uh, Marvel vs. Cap. You had all like the best arcade games that you know you could put in your living room on the Dreamcast, uh, that and it, it just worked. That Molotov <laughs> took way too much health. Now I was watching it. Like three bars. Eight, eight. Well, bug types a week against fire. That's true. All right, everyone. Well, this was a classic capture for Power Stone on the Dreamcast. Please subscribe and uh, let us know what you think. I won. Finally. Shut up. <laughs> Welcome to Power Stone War.